see if we can get this thing started after sitting for three days on choke on All right, so I went and picked up a used snowplow for the uh, new ATV. It's a 48 inch county cycle, county cycle country, something like that. And uh, it's a little rusty and it's got a bent, bent skid shoe up here. So it's kind of not sitting flush with the ground, but I'll straighten that out and paint it and everything, but came with a bunch of hardware um, to hook the plow up and even a manual lift, which is great because I didn't know it came with that. I was just planning on hooking up a uh, winch, which I might still do, but I actually had a four wheeler like 15 years ago that had a manual lift like this and even though it wore your arm out, it was actually kind of nice. And so I might even try to hook that up again. Gonna have to figure out how all this stuff works. I kind of have an idea. In fact, I might even have some old pictures of my first four-wheeler, but... There's enough here, I'll make something work. And I really didn't need to get a plow for this, but I don't know if you're going to have a four-wheeler, might as well. I gotta put that in a vise and bend it. Took the other side so I could get them bent the same, but I broke the bolt off. So I need to get some new bolts and then I'm gonna bend this one back so these are the same. No, I didn't get this on video, but this piece here was actually stuck on here. It must have been on there so long it kind of rusted together and I had to beat it with a hammer for a while and twist it with a pipe wrench to get it off. Um, I've been cleaning this up using some sandpaper and a sanding block. Um, this is looking pretty good and this actually fits on there now but it's still a little bit if I greased it it would be all right but I'm actually going to clean the inside of this because it's full of rust. So I came up with this little contraption. So I'm going to use this to hopefully clean some rust out of the inside of that and then it should be good after that.
That's way better. Oh, that made a world of difference. Look at that. I guess I really didn't show it before, but that's a huge... That's awesome. I apologize for the light. Now I have no idea how these go on. So I'm just making assumptions here. This thing is bent. This feels like it's at too much of an angle. It needs to be bent this way. Yep. Pipe wrench, which seems to work really good for bending. This pipe wrench came with the house that I bought a long time ago, and I've used this a lot for bending stuff. It's an awesome wrench. Just using these as spacers to keep this level so the plow doesn't get jammed in there.
There's the homemade rod that I welded. A little bit longer, so it should work now. four-wheeler had this problem where that little nub right there it gets worn down and it wears down that plate and then eventually it doesn't hold anymore and then it'll randomly fall and that's what my old four-wheeler did and maybe it won't do it now because I tightened down that little nut which is supposed to put more tension on that against that plate but I really didn't move it more than five six turns looks like it might be helping not even touching it though Another thing too is when you're on it in the winter, your leg kind of holds it against there too. I remember plowing snow when I was younger and always getting a bruise on my leg trying to hold our handle against that so it wouldn't drop. But if you're plowing snow half the time it's down anyways so it's not like it really matters. If I had to I could just hold this. It's not very heavy. It really doesn't take a lot of effort to do that. So, I don't know, at least it works. I wasn't really sure what these parts were I was looking at. Sorry about the light in here. But this is a lot cleaner setup than my old one. My old one had like rope and knots and a bunch of other crap. This one actually has I got the rod, which I made longer. Straighten this thing out. This is all bent. Clean it up so it turns good. It's not, it was rusted. So now it moves fine. I can even grease that. And then I got this linkage, which can be adjusted by the way. It can go forward and even backwards at a different angle. I can mess with that, see what happens. And then, try to do this one handed here. It, the angle does work and it doesn't hit the tire. Really close on this side. I guess it's about the same as the other side, but it's close. As long as it doesn't hit it is kind of a short plow I wish it were 54 or 60 but it's all right 
it's kind of just a backup to my backup to my backup because I have my truck and my tractor and and my other garden tractor and kind of just for fun. I moved that linkage back one space so now it lifts a little bit higher. Can't believe this thing hasn't fell yet. I'm still kind of thinking about getting a winch, but I don't know. I'll see what happens. But honestly, I think this thing will work just fine the way it is. So I'll just keep going, get this thing, uh, have a few things I have to do to it. I need some new bushings on some control arms, some uh, gear case oil. Got to put some uh, bolts back in this plow, maybe clean all the flaky paint. Uh, pretty sure off camera I bent these I bent one of these that was the good one and this was the bad skid shoe but bent it the best I could I think it'll work of course I didn't get long enough ones Could anybody tell me what this is? Came with all the parts for the plow. I have no idea what that is. I checked all the fluids and the gear case oil is full. It's just so clear, it's really hard to see. But I bought a quart of this uh, AGL fluid uh, from Polaris. One quart is 23 bucks on eBay. But at least I have it, so if that does get low, uh, then I can top that off. And to check the oil level on this one, which this is a four cycle, um, it's right up here. Kind of a long dipstick, actually, but it's full. 